It fun day. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful spring ahead. Right? Is that what we're here for? We are here for the spring ahead moments like that. <laughs> all right. We got some fun stuff on the screen here. We're going to see who all was here early. We, of course, had our master moderator and platinum crew member, Big Red EDC, in the house. We had Sean Lidicote, Crazy Roach, a member of the crew, El Cap Attic and Marco, members of the crew, Alicord Paracords here, another master moderator and platinum crew member, rule number nine. Thank you for being here. Bushcraft Rebooted, a member of the crew is here as well. We got Joe Kasprick and Jay Dub, both members of the crew are here. Let's see who else we got going on here. We got Malice, a member of the crew. Knives Are Life, a member of the crew. Very, very awesome. I Am Me was here, a member of the crew. Crazy Roach and KK, all members of the crew. El Cap Attic is here, a member of the crew. Master Moderator. And platinum crew member pocket razors edc i don't know why i threw edc on there but let's just say pocket razors platinum crew member and master moderator thanks for being here jim miller remember the crew is here knives are life let's see joseph s is here knives are life member the crew addicted to blades two slim tissues in the house fred the lug is here napster ninja in the house member the crew what is going down Will B, Gold Class crew member is here. B, Shady22 jumping in. B for Baron, Platinum crew member. King Pope Caesar is here. Double Detent. Craig is here. What up, Craig? Gold Class crew member. Double Detent, of course. And Top Dog, both members of the crew. Top Dog's a Gold Class crew member. Twang Thang in the house. Rory's here. Both members of the crew. Matt McKellis is here. What is going down? Yeah, buddy. I like it. I like it. Heidi's here. What's up, Heidi? TR, EDC, 78. Tim, member of the crew, is here. I love it. I love it. Now, we have a couple things to look at. We got, oh my goodness, we got a super chat. We got a couple super chats that have come in. Let's give a shout out to Martial Law 123 Master Moderator, jumping on with the super chat. Hashtag DSKFS. Do something kind for someone. <laughs> Thank you, Marshall. I appreciate that. Happy Sunday. Spring ahead. So you probably lost an hour and we're working. Beefer Baron jumping in with a super chat. What is up, Beefer? Platinum crew member. <laughs> now, we got some fun stuff going to happen today. Gator Aaron, member of the crew is here. What's up, Greg? Greg is here. Evil E is here. What's up, Evil E, member of the crew? I love how J-Dub put it. He's like, finally, Zach's fun day Sunday, Sunday fun day, where it should be at the regular noon hour. Now that we've sprung ahead, we've all lost an hour. That is terrific for us. Not. What's up, Sharp Guy ATX, gold class crew member in the house? Yeah, buddy, Nico's here. What's up, Nico? Says, let's go. Twang Thang donating a membership to Zach's Daily Carry Crew and Slim Tissue got his membership back. <laughs> Thank you, Twang Thang. And welcome back to Zach's Daily Carry Crew Slim Tissue. There is going to be a sale posting today for channel members. So I'll probably try to post like an hour or two in the community ahead of time and just say, hey, Here's what's going to go up for sale, and we'll go from there. It'll be just a couple things. We're going to get that sale going. Still on the hunt for my Grail 940 that I lost because I snoozed. I snoozed and lost, but that's okay. Michael Morgan's in the house. Mimo, member of the crew, what is up? I love it. I love it. But there was also a community member who reached out. We talked about it here over the last couple weeks. Um... And he wanted to see some differences on some griptilians. Um, so we're going to show a couple of those as well today. We have a couple of things that we're going to chat about here on the table in just a minute. Of course, that awesome DSKFS gift from Mike Jernak. So awesome. It's been awesome. Carried it all week. We got Kurt White, member of the crew, says, just got a membership last week. Thanks to you all. Nice. Kazoo Dan is here. What's up, man? 
welcome in. And there's a link right there. Big Red's posting it up. If you want to join Zach's Daily Carry Crew, you can click on that link right there and join up. Support the channel on a monthly basis. It all helps. It all goes into the shipping, the giveaways, the fun stuff we do here. So definitely, definitely putting it back into the community. Appreciate that. That guy formerly known as T-Fetch. What's up? That guy formerly known as T-Fetch. Hey, formerly known as T-Fetch, I still need that email from last week so I can get you your runner-up and such items. Zach.edc gmail.com. Gons is in the house. Member for five months says hashtag DSKFS. <laughs> XTFetch. There you go. I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> so, what else do we got going? We got something that I ordered for a build. So, we're going to take a look at that. That came in. We got Rob's Nerdy Knives in the house. Says, what's up, Zach and others? I'm driving and listening in. I cannot reply. I did put some smooth, polished rock scale design scales on my M4 Benchmade bug out. Their new clip is pretty nice. Yes, indeed. The clip on that right here is what he's referencing. That beautiful milled titanium clip. Whew. Such a beauty. Goes so nicely on so many of their knives. Matthew Coppola is in the house. What is up? Happy Sunday. Now, we're also going to talk about some controversy in the community. Uh, what is up, KC Cisco? How are you? Welcome in. B Shady 22, member of the crew is here as well. Greg Maroney jumping in, member of the crew. How are you? Dr. Drew Dude in the house. What is up? Happy Sunday. Now, if you haven't seen it, the new Benchmade 945 the RD-24, I think it is, 2401, that fire engine red blade, big red, you know what I'm saying? Got that dark gray G10. We got Tom Weingart, gold class crew member and master moderator jumping in. What is up, Tom? Some interesting things on this one. So if you want to get my opinion and see some comparisons on this one, check out my most recent review. Um, never know what'll come out of that. I'm just saying. Uh, but I did pick this one up from cutlery shop. Um, awesome people over there, him and his, Jeff and his staff go over, check them out. If you're going to spend the money, you're going to get the, the same price everywhere right now from all the Benchmade dealers. So check them out over there. Cutlery shop.com. C U T L L E R Y S H O P P E.com. Um, but yeah, Good people over there. I like supporting. They're out of Idaho. So good, good peeps, good peeps. Uh, Weston Probst is here. What is up, Weston? How are you? Happy Sunday. Or maybe it's Monday where you're at. Or maybe it's stat Saturday night still. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, we all lost an hour. Oregon's going through a weird thing. What's up, Angelo? And they voted to get rid of daylight savings, but it has to like go into effect. And I think they have till like five years from now. And then you'll see it, you know, maybe if California and Washington do it, I think Mexico just got rid of it and stuff. So we'll see. I know there's a big, there's a big group of people on each side of that topic. So maybe we'll have to talk about that. Spicy 99 says sweet MSI. I just bought a G10 one the other day. Nice, nice. Now I'm, I'm curious because the FRN Grivery version of this one, which this one used to be before I put the original goat scales on it which the pocket clip still doesn't fit in that milled out area. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, obviously, the aluminum scales make it heavier. It was blade heavy with the Grivery. So I'm curious if the G10 ones are a little more evenly weighted with the G10 scales. So you have to let us know on that after you get it. Uh, top dog in the house, gold class crew member, gifted a membership. And Matthew Coppola got his membership back. Thank you so much, top dog. <laughs> Yeah, Big Red says, if we stay on this time, I'm in for it. I like that. I love it. I like that. I love daylight savings time. It's the one day a year that I sleep in. There you go. There you go. In the fall. In the fall. Pocket Raider says, I wish they would just not change it and leave our sleep alone. I agree. Set it once. It's like the Ronco food dehydrator. Set it and forget it, right? Let's just make it happen. Let's just make it happen. I'm totally with that. Tori Gacy in the house. 
Tori Casey's a member of the crew. So is Don C jumping in. Appreciate you jumping in, Don. Yeah, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Happy Sunday for sure. We got Rory Calhoun in the house. Some more shipping moolah for all your toolage and experience with knife mods. Thank you, Rory. That is super kind of you. <laughs> exactly, Pocket Raiders. Just set it and forget it. Um, David Celeste is making titanium skills for the MSI. Nice, nice. I saw some of the ones from OG as well, Original Goat. Um, so my problem is this, and I don't know if you can see it right here, but that pocket clip in this portion is not fitting into the, the hole that they've created. Um, fits in on this side. And of course, you know, barely, I mean, maybe doesn't fit all the way because it's not really deep enough. So you can see the pocket clip sticks up a little bit from the scale, but on this side, it's really bad. Um, you can see it's totally above it. So what I'd like to do, and I don't know if anybody else has an MSI with these aluminum scales, but I would love to measure if you have calipers, the width and depth um, of that milled out area. So I'll probably be sending these back to Original Goat this week. It's going to cost me some more shipping, but that's how it goes. Kathleen Smith jumping in. What is up? And we got Master Moderator, Platinum Crew member, Big Red EDC, donating five memberships to Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you, Big Red. We got Pokey stuff jumping in. We got Angelo getting his membership back. Weston Probst got a new membership. Alicord, Paracord, Donald Malinkovich, and Martial Law, one, two, three, all getting their memberships back. Marshall's is gold class, but we do have a new member as well, and that is Weston Probst. Weston, shoot me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. The link is also in the description of this email. Uh, description of this email. Description of this video is my email address. Shoot me an email. We'll get you some channel swag sent out to you there, Weston. Thank you for being here, and thank you again, Big Red. We got Let Me Get It That jumping in, member of the crew. How are you today? We well, got Pocket Razors donating a super chat. Says, all right, people, you know it's time to do the DSKFS dance all over that like button. Thank you, Pocket Razors, for the super chat and for the like button dance. Did I see an Alaskan Todd jump in? Todd Kingery is here. Alaska Todd. Spring is here. My igloo's melting. What is up, Todd? How are you? Gold class crew member and awesome, awesome blade swapper with the 940. I have to show this every time Todd's here just for his DSKFS and generosity. Um, he swapped me the, the darker Stonewash S90V blade for this build right here. It's beautiful. It's got the titanium scales from Benchmade's custom shop. And then the 940-1 blade swap, thanks to Todd. And of course, that rock scale design milled pocket clip. This is the graphite, so you can see the difference on it. Almost a, like a dark gray black. Um, you can get 10% off your orders. Use the code RSDZEDC. It's in the linked description below for all my wonderful, wonderful channel subscribers and members here. We got Mike Jernak saying, happy Sunday. Of course, he's a Platinum Crew member. With the Super Chat and with this amazing, amazing DSKFS gift that I opened up last week. This is that beautiful, beautiful, amazing Zippo with the Zach stuff. I love the font on that, by the way. And, of course, the hashtag DSKFS. So, thank you, Mike, for that. I carried it all week. Showed it off to everybody. I was like, you got to check this out. This is awesome. Uh, we got Jay Kors getting in the house. Remember the crew? What is up? Rod Livey jumping in. What is up, Rod? Yes, it is a very awesome gift. Thank you to Mike for that. That is super cool. He's like, oh, I got a little something I want to send you. I'm like, oh, my goodness. That is wild. <laughs> All right. Kevin Search is here. Remember the crew? What is up? Happy Sunday. How are you? Did you recover from the missed hour already? My Journey is here. What's up, My Journey? Member of the crew, how are you? Homer, I felt this as well. Member of the crew jumping in. What is going down? And there's the link right there and the code for the Rock Scale Designs tie clip. And we're going to we're gonna see something else that I ordered from Rock Scale Designs. Had to use that discount code. Put it to good use. And that's awesome. Gives 10% off. 
Um, no kick yet, no kick back to me, which is perfect. That's how I like it. Um, goes right to you guys. Jay Demeter's in the house. What's up, Jay? Want to get matching DSKFS tattoos? I'll totally do it. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's get let's get them. Get it on our middle finger. It goes like this. Hashtag DSKFS. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Zach lit his Philly blunt with that Zippo, says Evilly. No, but I do have something in the wings that I'm going to make sure to show off on Instagram. We'll probably get that done today. I was going to do it last weekend, um, but a friend of mine that was in town bounced like first thing in the morning. Um, so I wasn't able to make that happen. But it's kind of a bummer. So what's up, Brian F., member of the crew? Um, yeah, we were out. We were out last night, had a, uh, some family birthdays to celebrate. So huge shout out to the family and the birthdays, a DSKFS tattoo live. Oh, I wonder if we, if they would allow that. Do you know if they allow live tattooing on the YouTubes? I'll have to look that up. I'll send a little, send a little message to my YouTube friend. He's one of the, uh, one of the peeps over at YouTube. Be like, Hey, question about this. <laughs> So, I guess I'll start incorporating a couple of these Griptilians. No way. <laughs> I don't know why not. Yeah, let's do it, right? I'll start putting a couple of these Griptilians out here, um, and I'll see if you guys can recognize where they are from. So, this will kind of be a fun little uh, thing to look at. And... There's blood. Oh, that's true. That's right. They don't like the old blood on there, but maybe if they just wipe it a lot. Um, some of these will be ones that you've seen on the channel. Some of these will be ones that you've never seen on the channel. And I, the only thing I will say is these are all from Benchmade, directly from ben Benchmade. So kind of cool. Yeah, my journey. I'm glad it arrived. That is awesome. I'm glad it arrived for you. That's really cool. Grandpa special. Oh, this one's the limited edition one. I don't even know if Big Red's seen this one. Kentucky's in the house. Jay Nor, what is up? We'll see if Ben if uh Big Red's even seen this one. Right there. They let tattooing be done on live TV. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh, dude, he tattooed himself live. Okay, nice, nice. What's up, Caleb Hale? Remember the crew? Now I'm going to put these out there. Where did that one go? Oh, oh, that's one I just put out. Mix the boxes up. Love the camo. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And these are some Griptilians, you know, full size. Griptilians, 550, 551. There's some limited edition ones. And the conversation came up this last week about you know, the Griptilian, what they've done in the past, history-wise with the Griptilians. You know, if there's some stuff that maybe people have seen, maybe they haven't seen. Gosh, you know, what the steals are. You know, will would Benchmade ever put out like a, you know, a D2 tool steal without it being coded? Um, you know, kind of those things. Show the slim carbon fiber. Oh, it's it's on the list. Definitely, Michael. It'll be out here in just a second. Um, there's there's three left that I want to show. Three. One, two, three, four. Give it up, Zach. Give it up, Zach. I'm about to. Warm it up, Chris. All right. Is that a Duck Dynasty bench made? It is. Look at this one. I don't know if you can see this one. It's got a it's a blue and black G10 milled original bench made i'm just saying like these are some things that have been out there that i don't think a lot of people are aware of what they've done with the griptilian series because a lot of people are like man i'd love to see the griptilian i'd love to see this with it and that with it and all this other stuff and it's like you know what have they done with the griptilian series over the years um and i know we talked about it a little bit um this is the only one right here i'm putting out right now this is the Carbon fiber, death grip scales, the slim. This is what Benchmade should have done, is made a slim scale version, which would have been terrific, just saying. Um, but there's one more here. Yeah, the black and blue is nice. 
Yeah, there's some different steals, and we'll go over each one in just one second. And then this one, what's up, Todd Carr, Gold Class crew member? We also got Roman M jumping in. What is up, Roman? There's also one that is not part of the Griptilian family, but it's one we talked about, so we'll show that when we're done with the Griptilians here. Um, but it is going to be dropped on the floor, so we'll deal with that in a second. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what's up, Sonny Robinson? How are you? So overall, the list of Benchmades should have done is too long to list. Yeah, and that's the crazy part, right? You get into any sort of knife design, knife series, and you're like, where does it go from here? You know, most of you are familiar with this one in the middle. Um, standard sheep's foot. This is the 154 CM, so you are going to get that beautiful hollow grind out of it. Standard Benchmade look. Um, bring back the hollow grinds, right? That's what we're talking about. Um, and then you get into some of the special series they've done. Yeah, pull the KC. Yeah, I guess so. I should have done it uh, on that, the list of that. Yep, yep. Um, but then you start getting into some of these special ones, right? 154 CM. You know, this one's a beautiful specialty limited edition one they did for the Navy. Shout out to Big Red EDC, you know, for acquiring this one. But you have that hollow grind coated. You got the Navy seal. Is that the Trident on there? Partially serrated, you know, this is a military exclusive, or I said should say a military limited edition. Probably an exclusive, best way to put it. And then you get into things like this. Red barrel spacers G10. A red and black. I don't know if that red comes through enough on there. I don't know if we need some extra light on that red. Let's see. Put a little extra light on there to see kind of that red and black. Kind of a beautiful, like, you know, wood pattern, right? Wood grain. What's up, Robo Stevo? Stevio? Robo Stevio? <laughs> but these are the things where it's like, you know, partially serrated. But th look at this. This is number 15 and 250. So this is a limited edition run, CPM M4. You know, and so these are the things that I know a lot of you have asked in the past, like some of those crazy things where it's like, you know, yeah, huge shout out to Big Red for for sending that one over to the collection. But things like this where it's like people you just don't even know. And I know a lot of you have asked me like, hey, do you have any special, you know, other bench maids we haven't seen? And it's like so we get out some of these and it's like these are beauties. We keep those beauties off to the side. We looked at that one, the death grip scales. And then you look at something like this. And you're like, this is a grivery kind of a, what would you say? Like a jungle woodland pattern camo, you know, in 440C, you know. Just picked up a Boker coffin in Magna Cut. Nice, Don. You know, this is well used, well loved, partially serrated. You have an REI edition grip, which I still like. Yeah, those are nice too. What's up, Dwayne Letterman? Remember the crew? How are you? Oh, real tree camo. Yes, yes. Real tree camo. Thank you for setting me straight there, rule number nine. Twang thang. Yeah, I love that camo. Yeah. So it's just kind of cool the things that they've done over the years. Um, there's a lot of fun Griptilian stuff out there. They did a lot of the custom or limited edition stuff with the full size. They did a few things with the smaller ones. But then, of course, you have the blue and black G10. Kind of that beautiful coloring barrel spacers deep pocket carry on this one you know this is this is a beautiful i haven't used this one because this is a you know blue blue and black g10 it's kind of a special one because then you look at the other side of the blade you know and it's like this is d2 this is a d2 bladed uncoated griptilian so pretty awesome stuff Pretty awesome stuff overall. I'm loving this Midnight Jack with the White Storm Fat Carbon. It's freaking sweet, says Greg. Where's the Stormtrooper? I didn't bring the Stormtrooper for this one. It is in the it is in the box though. I just didn't I just I didn't have a chance with the time. I was like running out of time, running around resetting my clocks because I thought I had more time than I didn't. 
And then it's like, oh yeah, I'm looking at the wrong one. What's up, pizza operator? Remember the crew? Have a Glow Rhino Tritium Crossbar Lock on my old Griptilian. Nice. And then they did this kind of gold class one, right? They took the, the lighter colored gray and blue G10 and they kind of just writ dyed it, I think, to get a little bit of color. And then they put a Dama Steel Blade on. This is number 57, I think, 59. Or no, it's 51. So those are kind of some cool things they've done with the Griptilians. And there's a lot more. You know, the one, the more recent ones, like you guys are talking about, you know, the Stormtrooper ones, they've got the red and black ones, they've got the orange ones, they all sorts of fun stuff that's out there. So there are some cool griptilians out there in the wild. Um, some of these you may or may not come across. I've seen the real tree camo one pop up before. I've never seen the Navy one. So that's cool. The red and the red and blue G10 ones. Those are super rare. Haven't seen a lot of those. These gold class ones were pretty expensive. They came out a few years ago. And of course the hollow grind ones. Beware of the fakes on eBay for those. A lot of fake ones of those running around. BFV GNR, what's up? I almost made it on the 205 BN 535-3, but I was so but I was late, so my order was canceled. Oh no. Oh man. Dang it. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I have 17 old new stock cold steel knives on my website and IG for sale. All are new in boxes, Alice. There you go. Alice sent something out. Blade Runner HQ. I think that's the name of the, the knife store, Blade Runner HQ. Um, check out my Instagram story or Alice's Instagram, uh, Alicord Paracord. They had a break-in overnight. And so Blade Runner HQ, the, the knife store, they have some very specific ones that were stolen and they put them out there. So obviously that it looks like their power got cut. The police were there. Um, you know, that sucks, you know, owner was putting out a post. So Alice shared it. She shared it with me as well. So I shared it in the community. So if you do have an Instagram and you want to check that out, please go to my Instagram story, click on that post and then, um, click share. So we can get the word out. Sounds like there's some, some bad guys out there in the neighborhood um, that broke into a knife shop overnight and stole a bunch of their products. So kind of a bummer deal. They're also having to redo and double check for orders. So if people did order from them, that's kind of a bummer deal as well. So, uh, Michael Morgan says, Zach, does death grip ever restock? Always sold out when I go there, Michael, the easiest way to do it is to send him an email. Um, I think it's like info, but if you go to deathgrips.com, just click on his email and send him an email and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. You know, Zach had this product on his channel, Zach stuff, and I really want these slim ones. He restocks all the time, but he's, you know, obviously it's not his full-time job. So he just does, he does runs. So like he'll make a, a run of these and make, you know, 10 sets of the slim carbon fiber for your full-size griptilian. And I really love this, especially with the, the micro milling texture. And it just, I mean, seriously, it takes the bulbous, you know, scales out, right? And it just slims it down just enough so it just feels terrific. But send them an email and let them know, hey, this is what I'm looking for. Can I get on the list for the next run of those? Because he'll he'll try to get you in there. He's really good at that. Um, you could also double check and check out his um, uh, Instagram. That's where he's posting all his latest stuff. But I would say definitely just email him, Michael. That's the easiest way to get a hold of him and it's worked really good for me. Uh, the S90V carbon fiber bug out. It was nice. I'm still waiting to hear back if more are coming. That's a good question. We shall see where, uh, so it's on my Instagram stories. So if you go to my Instagram and like where my logo is, there's a little, little red circle around my logo that, <clears throat> that means there's a story on there. Click on that. Sorry. I had to take another drink there. But definitely check that out. Um, in the story, you'll see one of my stories is the break-in that happened. And then you can actually click on that in the middle of the post. And it'll then open up and give you the option to open up their post. And then you can look at all the details of it and what got stolen and then share it from there. Spring is sprung in early indeed. Peach trees are blossoming. Wow, that's crazy. 2011 OTS triage with seat belt cutter, window breaker, orange, 
G10 and Black Handle. That is a nice triage. I like that. Um, okay, so we are we are a half hour in. I need a 945. So spendy now though. Yeah, they're the 945s are nice. They're definitely nice. Uh nobody knows the scales for the super freak and looking for some that use the barrel spacers. Uh Kazoo Dan, check out AWT. Um Applied Weapons Technology. AWT. Um, they make some really good uh, mini freak scales, and I think they have them for the full size freak as well. So definitely check them out. They do some good work. What's up, Pedro? How are you? Chris Streets here. Thanks for the MSI scale video. I was so stuck on removing that dumb pivot screw. Now it's perfect with carbon fiber scales. Nice, Chris. Nice. Send me an, send me an Instagram message or something. If you have Instagram or send me an email with that, uh, with that photo, I'd love to see your carbon fiber scales. Uh, the shop I was buying the BOCF has the 940 same pattern for 265 free shipping. Oh, that's good. BFVGNR. Yeah. Oh, and there's the link right there from Big Red for Applied Weapons Technology. Yeah, definitely check them out. Thank you, Big Red, for posting that link up. They have some amazing scales in aluminum. J. John 707s here. What's up? Aries EDC in the house. Can't type, but listening and lurking. Hope you are all well. Right on, Aries EDC. Aries EDC making some fixed blades, some hot looking fixed blades. So check them out. Do a little search on YouTube for Aries EDC. And uh, you'll see some beautiful knives. Or go over to his website, you know, check them out, those kind of things. Oh, the 945 2. Yeah, this one right here. Not in there. Black and blue. I love this one. Fantastic. Uh, let's see here. I'm definitely going to do that magnet mod for the Vosti Corgi. Yeah. I got AWT scales, my Adamas, and I love them, says Kevity Search. Yeah, there's some great products. I have a set on my mini freak and they're great. They're great. We worked through a little pinch problem on some of the older design they have. And, uh, but yeah, they're great to work with. Got everything fixed. And there's a link right there to Aries EDC. If you want to check out some of his products over on Instagram, fantastic. 30s hitting hard. Can't finish the late night lives anymore over on SKL. Luckily once a month, he does the early SKLs first Sunday of the month, 2 PM Pacific. Check out Big Red EDC's Saturday Knife Live. I love it. Um, thank you, BFV, for sharing that on Instagram. That's really important. You know, some of, some of these shops, especially the, the smaller ones, like, it just sucks. They have somebody that breaks in. And you, you could see from the post, like, looks like they broke in through the front door and stuff. It just sucks. Um, you know, that's how it goes. Anybody doing stitch scales yet, says Iron Butter Knife. I have not seen them yet. But I'm not sure if I thought Micro, Microtech Stitch, I thought Original Goat was looking at doing some. I'll have to double check their website. Blade Walkers here, remember the crew? Anyone buy anything cool lately? I snagged a Renegade Gunner yesterday. Nice, nice. All right, so let me show you one more cool thing. And then we'll get into pocket checks. So hold on just a second on your pocket checks. Has anyone seen this bench made before and can tell me what it is what model and this is a limited edition or i should say exclusive that they did what's up james james alton's here remember the crew a very strong dislike of thieves yes definitely david sluss will have some soon he just bought an MSI. Oh, nice. Right on, Alice. Thank you. Wifey called you in for a late night snack. There you go, Greg. I love it. I love it. It's the Warren Winch edition. Yep, yep. Definitely, definitely. Got it. Warren Winch's Cut and Board Reviews has one. Nice. Yeah, definitely pizza. Yeah. So this is one of those, um, oh, nice Brasher beer. Got the brakes done on the son's car. Tired and crabby. <laughs> no one ever needs brakes when it's 65 degrees. So this is, it's a used one. Um, this is a full size barrage. It's an auto assist. Definitely needs to be cleaned up and some love on it. Ah, uh, it has a home with you if you want to relocate it. 
Oh, it is a Warren Winch exclusive. So pretty cool. It's an Osborne design, but it is a Warren exclusive, Warren Winches. Um, they did, this is the box it came in, did the Warren exclusive on it. So pretty cool. Just a standard, you know, full size coated Warren winch. Um, does have the lock up here and kind of that, that red backspacer. Um, but definitely auto assist. So you just move it a little bit. And it fires out on you. What's up, Mark Ridgewell? Member of the crew? How are you? Yeah, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, pocket razors, I know your line of work. And uh, yeah, we'll have to talk about it. I might have another one of these laying around somewhere. Just saying, never know. All right. And this one, it has like a spare clip and a full set of screws and hardware. You know, just saying. Somebody really enjoyed their knives, which is awesome. Davo from El Paso is in the house. What is up, Davo? How are you? Davo says, hi, guys. Jumping in here at work, so I can't stay long, but wanted to say howdy to my friends. So if you haven't seen or read the recent article about EDC gear from Davo from El Paso, we're going to put that link in the description here. He is writing some amazing things. Um, check out his articles. He's got a few of them up uh, under his writing. What would you call that as a writer? Because it's not your channel there. But he's writing for some local news in Texas, Tejas. So check out his articles there. Big Red will post the link up. Definitely check it out. I'm a Warren Redder, Red Letter dealer. There you go. Nice. You got a Warren dealer on in the house. Well, we'll definitely have to make that. It'll definitely have a good home there. Salamando's in the house. Remember the crew says, I remember back in the 2000s when everybody and their dog had a Warren winch and sticker on their truck. Yep. 100%. Still holding strong today. Still made, I think mostly made. Maybe Pock Razors can clarify. A lot of it's still made here in the Portland area, so that's kind of cool. And there's a link right there to Dave's latest article. Go check it out. He does some great stuff. He's getting a lot of new people interested in the EDC community. Um, he did an article a couple weeks ago um, that kind of featured some information about Big Red EDC, uh, myself, and the hashtag DSKFS, do something kind for someone. So it's pretty cool. Is that a Warren Barrage D2? Um, it is. It is, 100%. B of V. So that's cool. What's up, Kevin Smith and Knives? Remember the crew? How are you? Welcome in. So let's say, <laughs> what do they make that'll fit my 03 CL55 AMG? I don't know, but Pocket Razors could probably find something that'd fit on your ride. He's pretty good about that. Thomas McDonald in the house. Remember the crew as well as Blade Walker both here. Welcome in guys. What are you carrying today? What's up, Ant? How are you? You all share with me what you're carrying and I will share with you what I'm carrying today. And then we'll open up a package here and see what some goodies we got. My goodies, not my goodies. I don't know if you guys can tell that. That's what I'm carrying today. I'll probably carry it tomorrow too. It's finding a new, it's finding some new uh, re revitalization in my EDC. My neighbor's out pounding away on stuff. I should see if my neighbor wants to fix my fence. I've got a couple fence posts that need some extra attention. Kaiser Comeron for Thomas McDonald. Got the bailout for El Cap. Nicely done, nicely done candy shop <laughs> i don't know if i can sing all the lyrics to that okay uh sounds like an msi okay okay went old school 940 today for marshall nice nice they selling those microtechs up here too okay nice don relative a bowie and a sea snake for mark ridgewell that is awesome greg maroney's got the jack wolf knives midnight jack white storm fat carbon nice have my Noel Voodoo on me, says Ant. Sean Lidicote's got the Microtech Dirac and an M4 bailout with RSD titanium scales. Rock scale designs, nice. Got my hard hitting Phaeton, says J Dub. Nice, those Phaetons are nice. I like the spine fire switch on those. Rule number nine is carrying the ZT053 Micarta scales 
the Lion Steel Bestman Olive Wood Covers, the Baltic Blades Angus, the Sapphire Victorinox Huntsman, Olight I5R Todd, the Olight Seeker 4 Mini, the Forest Tank, the Fisher Space Pen. Nice, nice. Pizza Operator says, isn't an 8020.5? I don't know. Salamando says, got my OG tagged out with AWT scales today. It's a beaut. Man, those AWT scales just kind of level up your knife. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. A lot of scales do. Uh, Michael Morgan's got the Spyderco Capara. Carbon Fiber S30V, one of my favorites. Uh, the Otter Messer Sod Buster. Smoked Oak Carbon Steel. Nice. Doubled up on the Benchmade Limited Edition Assisted today. It says be a VGNR. The 583BK2207 Barrage and the 590SBK-1 Boost. Oh, nice, nice. Man, doubling up on the limited edition. I like that. Blade Shooter G has the Kunwu Pulsar XL DLC. Mike Jernex got the Claymore in the 945. Jim Miller's got the Mangana Steel Kaimano and the Finch 1929 and the Gerber Mark I Dagger. Nice. Top Dog's got the Mangana Steel Kaimano as well, the Manly Wasp, and a Phoenix PD40R V3. Heidi says, I'm feeling skinny, carrying the fact today. Ooh, that is a nice, pokey, stabby one. CK says, hey, Zach, stop my bloody nose. Oh, man, CK, Platinum Crew member, get that bloody nose stopped for sure, for sure. Matt mckell has got the Spyderco Man X2 and XL today. Sharp Guy ATX also has the Manix 2 Lightweight and the Rex 45, and he's digging it. Don C's got the 90V, S90V Purple Bug Out. Nice, nice. MSI Two-Tone Blade from Mark Vickers. Nice. Pizza Operator says, I have my Plague, Dr. Harsey, Damasteel, and Timascus Berg Barber, and a Max Ace Neptune. Just throwing out the EDC goodness right there. We can mount it on the top of the Supercharger. Cut a speed hole in the hood. I like that, Marshall. Pocket Razors can make that happen. You pick it, he'll stick it, right? Kind of like your favorite tattoo artist. Big Jimpin's in the house. Got the Winter Blade Co. Factor 3 and a Microtech Ram Lock Stitch. Booker OTF for Kurt White. Nice, nice. Kubi Bluff today for Big Red EDC. Fidgeting with the Carbon Fiber tagged out at the moment, says Pocket Razors. My Journey's got the Custom Fixed Blade with Damascus Blade. Got the Kaiser Hick Cup. The Vosteed Raccoon. The Remington Slip Joint O Light Baton Pro. The uh, Brian Kerr's got the Ferrum Stinger, the Chevalier Damascus, the Broken Anvil Knife Works Hunting Scalp. Nice. Rob Tenring's got the bug out that I won last week. Thanks, Zach. Right on, Rob. I'm glad you got it. And you're rocking it too. That's cool. I can't wait to see if you just keep it stock or if you find some little nice upgrades for yourself over time. That's awesome. Tom Weimgart, he's got the Rockstock Kershaw Iridium. This is solid little EDC. I like that one, Tom. Love the Phaeton. Best OTF I've tried, said El Cap Attic. I've got the Mangana Steel Kaimano and Purple Haze, says Will B, and a few other knives here on the bed. Andrew Arnold, Platinum Crew member, has got the Rex 45 Manix 2 Lightweight and a Makarta Sack Tinker. Double D10's got the 8010 with OG Titanium Gunstock Scales. Nice. CK's got the Mini Freak and my Murdered Out 940 Osborne. Nice. Kazoo Dan's got the Spider Coast Swayback. A fun one, a fun one. Some Tissues got the Satin Auto Bedlam in OD Green and Black G10 Concept Scales from Benchmade and a Barrage and Carbon Fiber and Dama Steel. Some Tissue always coming in hot with the custom Benchmades. Kevin Smith and Knives got the Mini Adama sitting here with a new edge this morning and flipping my Padre. Very cool, very cool. DGA is in the house. What is up, DGA? Platinum crew member, thank you for being here. Gons has the ZT0350, the Kaiser Drop Bear, the Campfire Leatherworks Hank, and the Springfield Echelon. Joseph S. has the Bug Out CF Elite, the 8015, the Mini Tack Bowie, and the Mini Trapper Slip Joint. Some good carries already. Um, let's see here. Tempest Microburst Blue Lightning for Sonny Robinson and the Kubi Tidious, 25 bucks. I love that. I love that. Devo Mash, the ODM, and the Phoenix LD30 for Joe Kasparik. Dagger Voron and a Benchmade Flyway for Homer today. Very cool. Napster Ninjas got the Microtech MSI. Had to figure which models I had for OG scales. I had to do the same thing, man. And then my pocket clip doesn't fit on mine, so I got to send it back in so they can either mill that out bigger or make a new 
um, clip side scale, all the fun stuff, all the fun stuff. Um, let's see. Roman M's got the eclipse Tonto and a pro tech runt. Those are so snappy. Pocket check says DJ bug out work sharp edition here. Very cool. I like that. It's got the, the cool, the cool color on it, which is awesome. 80, 10 with OG titanium gunstock scales for double detent. Donald Malinkovich has the Benchmade Bail, the Microtech Stitch, and a Lion Steel Tray. Um, Zach, do we know anybody local that does Cerakote? Yes, I do, Marshall. They're actually right across the street from Benchmade. There's a shop there, so I can get you hooked up with them. They're pretty cool on that. Like Flea from Son-in-Law. Exactly, Salamando. <laughs> that is awesome. Stephen Wallace jumping in. And we got some donated membership from El Cap Attic. He donated a membership. And who got the membership? Let's see here. All good, Double D10. Mark Vickers got his membership back. Thank you, El Cap Attic. <laughs> that is very cool. We got Kathleen Smith jumping in, carrying the Mini Praxis and Sack Super Tinker. That is awesome. That is awesome. Uh oh. All right, T Fetch. He says, Be right back. Think his old man fell. Hope he's all right. Hope he's all right. Hopefully, he just dropped something. Uh, James Alton says, A sling on the right arm and a cup of coffee in the left. My carry for three weeks. Oh, James, I'm sorry. Did you have uh, surgery? You have shoulder surgery or something? That is not fun. Yes, indeed. Big Red EDC, Master Moderator. Dun, dun, dun. We need to like a little, a little tone. I'll have to find a tone for my Master Moderators. That'd be cool. Big Red, post up the link to Dave's latest article again. The new Iridium Reverse Tango looks dope, says Mark. All right, let's see here. Up on that. Ronald Laramore jumping in. What is happening? And Pocket Razors gifting five memberships. Five memberships to Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pocket Razors, for doing that. And we got Rory Calhoun carrying the Devo Growler and the Vosteed Mini Nightshade. And who got the memberships from Pocket Razors donation? It was Rob Tenring, Matt McKellis, Big Jimpin, Pedro Armstrong, and Heidi. Everybody except for Big Jimpin. Big Jimpin's a new member. So Big Jimpin, if you want some channel swag, some little sticker pack, send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. Everybody else, congratulations. You got your memberships back. And thank you so much, Pocket Razors. That is very kind of you. Welcome back to all the members. And if you're watching, thank you so much for hitting that like button. That definitely helps out. Thank you to all those who have hit the like button. Uh, Bathrobe Sunday for Steve-O. Carrying is an Xbox controller. That's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Nice, Donald. Yeah. There's a couple people that have gifted some donations today for some memberships. So that's pretty cool. Yes, definitely. All right. Let's see here. Um, just falling apart around here. Carrying the CRK and Cozy while splitting firewood today, says Ronald. Nice, nice. Bushcraft Reboot has got the Phobos Tier 1 Mini, the Leatherman Surge, and the Olight Mini Warrior 2. He meant Reverse Tonto. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. All right. He's okay, okay, okay. Yeah, hopefully he's okay. Fishing for Dollars says, I've been here the whole time. What did I miss? we got some Griptilians. We're doing a little pocket check. Anthony Kitchen's in the house, member of the crew. What is up, Anthony? Lord Needham is here. How are you, Lord Needham? Brand new CRK Zon in the pocket today for Delta 9 JMS with 2024 Leap Day birthday. Nice. Well, happy Leap Day birthday for you. All right, Tim. <laughs> Good to see you. Have an awesome day. Yeah, I'm glad you got the stickers, Anthony. Right on, right on. Yeah, anybody that's you know, it's a brand new member, you know, when you get a new membership gifted or you sign up to be a member... Rock and roll. Todd Carr is here, Gold Class crew member. Now, we also talked about the OG scales for the Microtech MSI. We also talked about the fact that the pocket clip still doesn't fit. Um, as you can see, it's well lifted above. It's supposed to be milled out and pocketed right there, but it just doesn't fit. So they said, oh, I just try to jam it in there. And that doesn't, that's not going to work. 
Um, so I got to send the scales back to him. Uh, we got the 945 in red. The red racing machine. Um, still not sure why we did satin, thumb studs, and access bar and liners, but one day we'll figure that out. One day, one day. Tori Casey said, the sheep's foot grip has always been my favorite bench made. That's right. Yeah, the 50A splits would great. Yep, one of my favorites. One of the awesome favorites, especially with the hollow grind. Big, big, big thing. Bring back the hollow grind. Now hopefully, Michael, you can order some of those scales. He's pretty responsive on his email, so let me know if you have trouble getting a hold of him, but he's he's pretty good about that, so. Yeah, no problem, Bipper Dingo. I'm glad it arrived. Get some swag out to the members. Always got to have the... Woo, luckily that one was closed. That one hit the old, hit the old floor running. That was the special, special edition Navy one. What's up, Mr. Fluffy, member of the crew? How are you? How are you? Happy Sunday. So we got a couple things. We got something that got sent in. From an awesome, awesome person. I'll move this over a little bit. OCD style. Don't speaking of OCD, Clyde Scoop of Knives, what's happening? Fook Doozles in the house. Remember the crew? How are you guys? Thanks for being here. Um boom boom. But we got a package. Pretty decent, full, heavy package that got sent in to us from Alicord Paracord. We'll check out in just a minute. But we also have this. So we had, of course, we're going to do a, a fun build on a Spyderco Shaman I picked up. And then we had an awesome member of this community send in a set of scales for that and some titanium ones. And it's just amazing um, how kind everybody is. And I really appreciate it. And I know that that's the whole goal, right? Doing something kind for someone. And overall, just want to say thank you. This community is pretty awesome. So this, I had to pick up two things because they're rad. So we'll use this small, sharp knife right here, the Microtech MSI. Uh, Crispy Critters in the house, member of the crew for 10 months, says hashtag DSKFS. BKC. It is from our friends in California. Okay, let's do this. He like wrapped. Oh, rock scale designs. Is there a special note in here? Oh, this one's blank. This is my receipt. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just get that's extra packaging to keep things safe, right? Uh, but this is from Rock Scale Design out of California. Our good friend down there. He sent, uh, I ordered up two things. One thing for my Spyderco Shaman build and another thing for another knife that I have. Blade Walker, member for two months, says, been a pleasure to be here, buddy. Right on, Blade Walker. It's been good to have you. <laughs> How hard is it to install the Glow Rhino Tritium plug in the lanyard hole on the Benchmade knife? It's really pretty simple. It's really pretty simple. So all you have to do, let me think. I'm trying to think where mine is. Dun, dun, dun. Well, Judge Wapner. Dun, dun, dun. What's up, Dopey? How are you? Thanks for being here. So all you have to do, there's the link right there to the clip on that uh, from Rock Scale Designs and the 10% off code you can get. But I was trying to find the bug out. You're going to make me look for it, aren't you? Just kidding. Uh, the only reason I want to look for it is because I want to show you like how easy it is. But you should to get the lanyard plug in, all you have to do is, is literally undo the one. This isn't going to be a good example. Stand by. Let me get my bug out bag. I have a bug out bag here. What's up, Neil? How are you? Thanks for jumping in saying hi. I'm sorry you can't stay. So I got a bug out bag here of some bug outs. 
Um, do I have my Glow Rhino one in here? I do not. But let's say you have your standard bug out. The lanyard Glow Lanyard plug goes in here. All you have to do is literally undo. This has a backspacer on it from Rock Scale Designs. It's just how I do my builds. Um, but so that's not a good example either. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Can I get a regular bug out? Do I have a regular bug out in here? Here's a red one. It's as regular as you can get, I guess. Slightly different than most. Yeah, exactly, Big Red. So we got a red one. All you have to do is literally loosen one side of this. And then I would say this one as well. Just these two screws, loosen them up. You don't have to do both sides. Just this side. And then be careful of obviously the blade in there. But then this will pop up. You can, you can basically flex this open. And you can drop in that lanyard plug right here. And I'll snap into both sides. And then your plug will be in there. As Justin would say, like swimwear. Um, so let me see if I find out where my other, where my black, I have one that has a bunch of glow rhino stuff on it on a black bug out. And I thought I had it right here, which makes me think I need to look for it again really quick. Hold on. I know it's like squirrel, right? You're like squirrel. Did I put it on this one? Oh, I did put one on this one. So I put one on this one, the work sharp one. So I put one on there and it's really easy to pop that off. Let me see here. Hold on. We're moving. We're moving and grooving. We're moving on the fly. All right. We're moving on the fly. Hold on here. Doo -doo -doo. I need to get that. See if that's not uh Give that red one to JB, the red one. Give JB, the red one, JB. He has one of those already. He has a red one. Come on now. We got to make sure Big Red has one of those. So T6, and you basically just, if I can do it on camera. I always just take these two out because they're only in there by, you know, three or four threads. Envelope yellow. Yeah, the WorkSharp one's awesome. And then basically this just pops apart like this. See how that pops out? Um, I want to use something that's a little softer. Hold on. I don't want to damage that. Use a little pen there. But basically this will just pop right out. And this is the uh, Glow Rhino. And there's a discount code in there as well. But Glow Rhino, it's got the two little edges that'll fit into that lanyard plug. So basically, if you get those two out, you know, like I said, watch that blade in there. But you can basically just squeeze this apart, get it in there, lined up. And then you're good to go. Do -do -do. On camera, it's a little harder, but... You get, you get the drift I'm putting down. You're like, how easy is it? Do it on camera. Do it live, man. <laughs> All right, hold on. You're like, how easy is it? But then do it yourself. Do it on there live. I, took, I just took um, the scale part in my video to do it. But these will just pop in there. And of course, the more you do it like live on camera the more fun it is. All right. Oh, that's because I have it backwards. Okay. I was like, why is it not fitting in there? It's got to go the right direction. It's got to go the right direction, yo. All right. So you got to make sure it's lined up appropriately as such. On camera, it's always harder. But I appreciate the opportunity to share this with you live. That's half the fun. So, simple, easy to do. Um, I would recommend a little Loctite when you put these two back in. Just a little tiny dab. But the difference this makes is incredible. This is Glanyard plug. Is it Glanyard? Did I say Glanyard? Lanyard plug, Glow Rhino. Maybe that would be a cool thing to call it, Glanyard. Um, 
It's an awesome upgrade. I put a couple of these on there. I put one for the... Uh, yeah, it would be safer, Donald. It would be safer, Don. Yeah. But overall, like, it's pretty awesome. They have the Axis one. They have the thumb studs. Yeah, another wooden box destroy. Yeah. Destroy it. And I don't know. It's probably not going to show up on here. But I have a pretty cool post on my Instagram of the black one. And it's got a couple different things in there. They also make some scales that you can swap out and put it to. But even just having this and, like, in a dark room. I mean, or even, you know, one at night, if you know, some people keep the nightlight on, um, or have a little clock or something, but this, this will glow. You'll see it awesomely on your nightstand or wherever. So it's kind of cool just so you know where it's at. Um, but yeah, overall this lanyard plug glow rhino is a super awesome upgrade. Glandular plug. I like that Salamondo. <laughs> yep. That's it. That's, you know, got to come up with some new names for them, you know? Um, did they redesign it to also fit the AI bug out, <laughs> the owl bug out, the AI? Um, I would recommend a little dab of slick all in there, says OCD for DC. Master moderator and platinum crew member in the house. Maker of many, many fine upgrades to your EDC knives, including the glass breaker delete for the shootout, the slick em all, the CME. Compression made easy for your spider coes. And if you want to get some good spider coes, go jump on OCD4DC.com. All right, Neil, have a good day at work. I'm sorry you have to go back to work, but I understand. But thank you for sharing your time with us. That is awesome. We'll look at these rock scale design products here. South Paw Pyro in the house. Remember the crew? I'm in there like swimwear. Exactly. That is awesome. All right, and there's a link to OCD for DC Slick Em All. Thank you, Big Red, for posting that up. OCD's in the house. Now, this is one of those things where we've seen this, right? We've seen this graphite pocket clip. So I ordered a second one because I have another knife. I want to put that on. It'll fit any of the standard three-hole pattern bench maids and some of the other knives, which is pretty cool. Yeah, of course. Tricking out the bench maids. I know, Tim, that's awesome. Yeah, happy to help with that stuff. And of course, that's why I was like, let's just do it live. Do it live. It's half the fun behind the camera, but it's all good. Once tried to fit on the aluminum one, but it wouldn't. Oh, the aluminum. The, oh, no, the, the AL, the aluminum. Oh, yeah. So this is a graphite colored geared backspacer for the Spyderco Shaman. So let's see here. We have this shaman that I picked up over at OCD4EDC.com because my Spider Co collection needed an addition and also needed an upgrade. And we had an awesome person send in the titanium scales. I don't know if we want your name mentioned right now again, but if you do, just say you're welcome for the for the donation. Um, but this. This will go good on any scales that you have it on. It just is a factory replacement. It'll fit right here once you take it apart. And this is the geared backspacer in titanium. They make different colors. Um, the titanium scales that I've sent that I was sent, I definitely will put that in a separate video build that we're on that I'm doing. And I will definitely give some major shout outs again. What's up, Chris? How are you? Don't squeeze the shaman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, slick em all is like Frank's hot sauce. I put that shit on everything. Heck yeah. Same here. Same here. So when we do the build, we'll talk about it again, but these are awesome, awesome backspacers. Now I have several of these, the smooth and the geared on my bug outs, my bailouts, all sorts of fun stuff from rock scale designs. Um, some really good stuff there. So let me see. Hold on a second here. I need to look at this one and this one really quick. Let's also check. We need to check the uh, the viewer poll here and see how close we are on a. Oh, yeah. Okay. How close are we? Weston got your email. 
Um, I'll check on that, T-Fetch. I'll check on that. I should. I'll have to double check on that. But thank you for the email. Thank you, Weston, for the email as well. Um, ba -ba -da. Oh, there we go. There we go. Carrying the Shot Show 945 edition. Loving it, says Viking Venom. Nice, nice. Got that blinged out red in there. I love that. Ooh. I mean, I like the red liner look. The blade's still growing on me. Still growing on me, so it's okay. It's okay. Backspaces for the Bug Out 940 are sweet as well, says Todd. Yeah, I really like them. Uh, Chris says, Zach, are you a fan of the Micarta over G10 or Grabbery? Micarta's good. Micarta's good. Um, I have some Micarta. Um, I just did an upgrade in the last week or so with this one, with the gray blade, the 535-08, I think. Is it dash 08? I think so. Something like that. But it's got that kind of dark gray coated blade. I put the black linen Micarta scales, the crossfade ones from uh, Flytanium on there, which I also ordered these from OCD's website. He's a flytanium dealer, just saying. And uh, I love them. I love the Micarta. Now, if I had to pick Micarta over G10, I'm not sure. But I do like the upgraded scales from any type of grivery um, on the bug outs. They're pretty cool. El Cap Addict gifted another membership to Zach's Daily Carry Crew. And Neil McKenzie got a new membership. <laughs> What is up, Neil? If, Neil, if you're still here, you want some Zach stuff swag, send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. Um, I'll try to reach out to you as well, and we'll go from there to get you some swag. Thank you again, LCAP, for that. And we also had a comment. Oh, no, we had a new person jump in. A gold class crew member, brand new Americans here. What is happening? I love it. Drink water is here as well. What's up, drink water? Drink water in the house. It's my carta, not yours. <laughs> I love it. So anyways, I just recommend these products. As you saw in my bug out bag, that one gray bug out already had a flat titanium um, backspacer, and they do great. So I would say I doubt I could take apart these four screws and make this happen without taking apart the pivot. Otherwise, I'd do it right now. Um, you guys, or I'm sure Justin would be able to tell me yes or no on that. Probably be like, no, that's not a good live project. One moon's here. What's up? Happy Sunday. Fun day. Let's see how hard these are. What? Those aren't, what is that? Oh, well, I guess since I grabbed the wrong one, huh? Man, did I put those away wrong? Somebody's not putting their tools away right. That's okay. Um, let's see. New members email Zach for your membership swag pack. Zach.edcgmail.com for Big Red's post. Thank you, Big Red, for posting that up. All right. So I'm guessing these are T8, right? Let's see. Of course, come in stock. They are super duper tight. Oh, I can't even budge that one. I'll have to get my, uh, man, that's the only negative for me on these journey tool co drivers. They're awesome. Except when you're trying to break Loctite. So I get the stubby out from Weehaw. This project could be a super fail real quick. What's up, Dave? How are you? Yeah, become a popular guy we don't want to be. So we got the T8. I was kind of seeing if sleepies are creeping up on you. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, it's an hour later in your mind, huh? Oh, this stuff's popping apart. The liners are. This is probably going to be a bigger project than I thought, huh? I've never taken a shaman apart, so. What's up, stuff sharp enough? Somebody, somebody put up a stop sign if, if I'm getting into a dangerous mode here. 
Steve Keen, I bought the Benchmade 87 yesterday for 604 noon. That's cool. That's cool. I don't know. That liner's popping up. We got dual sided. This whole screw came out. I don't know. What's up, Brian Jones? I guess either way, we'll have a, a goofy looking thing here, but I was like, maybe it'll look cool if we just put it on there real quick. It probably won't ever go back together, but at least not till. <laughs> Did you hear that? Click. The liner popped right out. It's like, yeah, you're not getting this out. You're not getting this out easy, it says. I'll probably have to take one of those pivots off, huh? Use a blowtorch. Yeah, it's coming out easy now, but I'm afraid of what that liner is going to do inside. You Spider Co. Shaman people might tell me to, like, just pack up. Like, don't do it. Yeah, I mean, it comes out, I guess, huh? There we go. There's the stock one. You can see the liners, though. They're popping in. They're like, no, we don't want to make that happen. Life is better unscripted. Yeah, just do it, right? Pretty easy to disassemble. Okay. So you can see the difference between these two. Obviously, the holes line up, but you can see the difference between them. So I think it's going to look pretty cool. Hopefully, we can push that one back in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no there's no ridges, so it should just pop in, right? Just don't get your uh, your fenders in there. Let's see here. There we go. Got that one and that one. A little gritty. It's all good. Send it to Justin in a box, like two bones. Yeah, yeah. It is in a Benchmade. It'll be fine. Yeah, I know, right? Right? All right, so let's use this uh, this Journey Tool Co. driver. I like this one a little bit for reassembly. We'll get these lined up. See if we can... We got this hole lined up, I think, pretty close. No, not close enough. I just don't want to pop, like... Pop anything too crazy. All right, let's see here. Let's see if we can get those lined up first. That liner is going to be like playing a little bit of fits. Probably not the best way to take your knife apart. Doing it this way. But, I mean, you're not having any fun if you're doing it any other way, right? Everybody else is probably like, dude, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? What's going to get happening is I'm going to get stuck with the tip of that shaman or something. That'll be the fun part. There we go. Let's see if that one will lock in. Still have my factory second shaman. I should bling it out a little. Yeah, drink water. Yeah. All right. Well, you can see what it's going to look like. It's going to look pretty awesome. I won't spend any more time on it because, well, that's how it goes when you're not prepared. I need to just take the whole side of the scale off to make it make it, make it it appropriate. So we'll put all this stuff in the baggie so we don't lose any screws. We'll put the knife in there too as a reminder to like get it done. But I'll have to do the whole build video and get that up. I'll put it out for the channel members first so you can see all the fun activities I do with it. I know, right? Now now it just want, it makes me want to do it because everybody's like, dude, you're a Benchmade guy working on Spyderco. All right, hold on. We're just going to do it then. Be like me. Let's see here. Yeah, that one's not going to line up. They don't like to line up nicely when I'm trying to do it. Maybe there's a different version. Just kidding. There we go. That looks like it's lined up pretty good. Pretty close. You guys are like, dude, this is like five minutes too long. KK gifted a membership. <laughs> uh, it still doesn't want to line up. 
Come on, man. Come on, man. KK, thank you for the gifted membership. Steve Keen got a new membership. Welcome, Steve Keen. <laughs> Yeah, there's no Mega Spring story about it. That is true. That is true, right? That is true. I'm just curious why it doesn't want to line up. Is it because I have the liners tweaked a little bit? You would think it would just like pop right in there. All right, we're going to try this one more time. There we go. There we go. I had it too far down is why. This geared one sticks up just a smidge. I had it too far down is why. That was my problem. Okay. Now, if we put the other side on here, push it together. Can't come together. Look at that. Look at that. We're making it happen now. Make it happen, Captain. Look all beautiful and gorgeous. And then there's the other screw. I like the look of these geared backspacers. That's why I ordered it. And I think it's going to look super popping when it comes to those titanium scales that were donated. So thank you so much for that. Put this stuff off to the side. Look at that. We had to do it, right? We had to do it. Get that geared backspacer on there. Oof. Even the graphite version with this black handle looks pretty rad. It's even got it for it. Palmer rock scale. I do need to get a CME specific for this one because that does come back and get your finger a little bit. Rock scale designs. Yeah, rock scale designs. Um, you can use the link over to rockscaledesign.com. Use the code RSDZEDC. Um, Big Red might be able to post up in the chat again. He's been posting it and get you 10% off any of your products you buy from him. Need some black or gray, gray screws. Yeah, I'm ordering a screw kit for it because the titanium scales are um, obviously a titanium color, so they're a lot lighter. And so I think that'll go good if we can get some, some black hardware for it as well. So I got one of those coming and then got a pocket clip option that's coming too. That backspacer looks way better. I don't like how the stock one sits lower than the scales. Yeah, and that's what I really like about the geared work that Rock Scale Designs does, he does really good. And there's the link right there from Big Red. Thank you, Big Red, for posting that. That's to the Thai Benchmade clip, but you can go to, all, just click at the top to all his products and you can see, you know, he's got Shaman products and um, I think Manix products and Benchmade products and stuff. But I like his geared backspacers on my bug outs and bailouts. So I was like, man, he has one for the Shaman. Order it up, use my, my uh, coupon code there. Get you that 10% off. I think it looks good. So thanks for bearing with me. First time putting that in there. Thanks for the help on the Spider Code 2. I have 12 different models, which are in need of somewhat or need of somewhere excitement too. Nice, Rory. I appreciate that. <laughs> thanks, Rory. It's all about having fun. I think with this one, I didn't have the plan to put it together, but I think just, I mean, rocking it like that, it's going to look terrific. So pretty awesome to start building it out. And then, of course, we get those titanium scales on there. That'll be awesome. But a shaman's a good one. Shaman's a good one. Brand New American. Member for 14 months. Give a shout out to Brand New American. Gold class crew member says, knew you could do it. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. Like, <laughs> Thank you so much. What is Zach's code for turkey run? Is there a turkey run code that I need to get? Whoa, man, we need to get some more codes here, huh? I like that. I like that. That's a sweet knife. Yeah, I picked that shaman up from OCD for EDC's website. He had some uh, knives over there, some Spiderco knives. So he's got a lot of stuff on his website, but I, I got all sorts of stuff from his website. Flytanium products, all sorts of fun things. So PNW fun stuff's in the house at work and lurking. Nice. Very cool. All right, we're going to open up one more thing real quick. And then next week, we'll have something from PNW Fun Stuff on the channel as well. We'll get the channel unboxing knife from Keith the Knife Freak. We'll put it to good use. We've got this one nicely packed up. This is from Alicord Paracord in the house. We have a, a review coming up, kind of a review overview of a knife 
that she sent from her collection for us to check out too. So that'll be coming up on the channel, which is pretty cool. We just got to put an edge on it first because the person she had loaned it to used it quite well. Now, I don't want to put on blast her address. So I'm going to do this last piece off camera and then we'll open it up on camera. Oh, snappy, 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 snappy. Ooh, we got some Hanks. We got, oh, look at that, it's a ball tapper. That is an awesome sized one too. Oh my goodness. Alice sent us out some goodness. Oh, we got some stickers. I should eat one of those and see how good they are. Alicord Paracord Crafts. If you don't know, go check it out. Does a backspacer make the Grivery bug out scales more rigid? It does. It does BFV, yeah. That's one of the main reasons I use it on those um, Grivery bug outs is because of that reason right there. Um, it takes the rigidity just a little bit higher um, between the back and the front. And they go a little bit further up as well, which is nice. Um, the bailouts do a good, a good, a good work with that as well. So, so Alcord Paracord made us look at these. Oh my goodness, look at these. We're gonna put these out here so you know Alcord's doing it up. Oh my goodness, look at these keychain ball tappers. These are my favorite. All right, we're going to have to put one of these into a giveaway. Look at these, you guys. Look at the combo thread. Dang, those are awesome. And I think this one, isn't this like the snake pattern? Snake knot? And Big Red just posted the link up right there. Thank you, Big Red. Ed's in the house. What's up, Ed? I love it. I love it. Thanks, Marshall, for helping out with that as well. There you go. And that's the combo, the black, white, and blue. I love that. I love that. All right. So let's take one of these. We'll put one of these into the giveaway today. Man, I don't even know which one to put in the giveaway today. Let's just grab one with the black ball tapper and the blue thread. Ron says, everyone, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all for those of you who have tapped that like button. This is a sweet ball tapper. Look at that. Oh, I like this one. This one's awesome. This, this, so I have this one hanging right next to me for today. This is one of the other ones. This is a little bit smaller version, which I kind of dig. It's a little more EDC friendly. This version right here. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> I love it. Please open the Demco box. That is for your giveaway. The Hank and Monkey Fist 2. Oh, oh, these right here for the giveaway. Oh, snap. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Oh, we got a Hank from Hell of a Hanks. Look at that, Hell of a Hanks. Look at that. Got the world in your hands. I love that. Thank you, Alice. That is awesome. All right. So we'll put this, we'll put this into the giveaway. This awesome monkey fist lanyard. <laughs> and then we got some Alicord Paracord swag. We got a Demco knife for the giveaway. Ooh. Okay. Alice is kicking it off. You guys, what is that first one, Zach? A two inch ball. Yeah, this one right here, are you talking about this big one? Yeah, this is awesome. It's got it's got a little weight to it. Alice could probably tell you exactly what she used for it and how you could order it from her. Oh, look at that. Oh, snap. Oh, look at this. Look at that. For the giveaway, a neck lanyard. Oh, my gosh. And this Demco knife. A little fixie. Oh, look at that. Dang, this is a sweet setup. Locks right in there. And awesome. Let me see. I'm going to put it on. And she's even got the clips on it. So if you don't like just the other one, 
That fits over. Oh, that hangs perfect. That hangs perfect. It does, Brian. It does. Thank you, Alice. That is awesome. I designed the Hank and Hell the Hanks made it. Right on. That is so cool. Good job, Alice. Good job. And there's how you get a hold of Alice right there. If you want to order up some of these awesome goodies, if you have a favorite color, a favorite knot, a favorite design, obviously she can do it up any style you want. Make yourself some keychains, long, short. These neck lanyards are awesome. Seriously, like this is this is how you do it right here. This is really awesome. And it's even, like I said, it's even got the little, little breakaway clip if you want it. So that's pretty cool. And it's solid. I mean, you can hear it. It's solid. It ain't coming off. But man, this hangs perfectly. And the monkey fist lanyard. Thank you so much, Alice. Alice donated this for the giveaway today. So give a huge shout out to Alice in the chat. Um, members of the crew, throw up those DSKFS definitely for Alice. Thank you so much, Alice, for doing that. That is awesome. Okay, so the Demco knives. This is the Armiger to the Shark is what she donated. And then all of her awesome goodies. The hell of a Hank. Man, this sweet little... And it's got a nice texture to the handle too. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you got to order some from Alice. She does awesome work. And like, like I said, like I seriously have, you know, stuff at work that has her keychains and stuff already on it. Like that's just, I mean, even my personal stuff, my stuff at work, other than I use it for all that because it's awesome stuff. So that is awesome, man. Splitting slices in the house. What is up? Remember the crew? How are you? The neck lanyards, I don't think are on her website, but just get a hold of her via her email on the website or via Instagram and tell her what you're looking for. Just be like, hey, I saw this on, on Zach's um, live stream, this lanyard, um, neck lanyard, and I want to get one of those just like it. And these are the colors I want and she'll dial it in for you. So she knows I like the blue and black. And so she did it up. I mean, even these right here, the combo style ones, just fantastic looking. Um, you can go shorter, you can go longer. She can obviously, you know, make that out for you. And just for size comparison, like, you know, the length of this one is like six inches. So, you know, from, from where the key ring attaches to the end of the ball, it's six inches. So if you want one that's a little shorter, you know, this lanyard portion right here is like three and a half inches. So be like, Hey, I want one that's uh two inches or I want one that's three inches or something like that. She can dial all that up. You just got to be specific with her. Want to get one of everything. Exactly. Just send her a message. Have a limited number of the Demco Armiger available on hand, but able to get more. There you go. You can order the whole setup then. Splitting slices, gold class crew members here. What is up again? How are you? Thank you for being here. So you can order this whole package from her, which is awesome. And this is perfect. I'm, I seriously am going to have to order one of these because... That's an awesome little just neck knife with the lanyard. I mean, and it's comfortable too, super flexible. So, all right. So we're going to put all this off to the side right here because she has donated this stuff for a giveaway. So let's put this stuff out here. Thank you to Alice for the giveaway package. That is awesome. Thank you so much. We have some other lanyards too to give away in the future. So that is really, really cool. Man, that is, a, that is a super awesome surprise. So thank you so much for the knife, for the lanyard with it, with the monkey fist lanyard. Oh, that is really cool. I know, right? What's the website again? I missed it. Um, so if you scroll up, I think Big Red posted it, but it's alacordparacordcrafts.com. And Big Red did post it in the chat just a little bit uh, further up if you scroll up. And I'm sure he might post it again just because it's pretty cool. I know this 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 community is awesome. Alice is great. Um, she's been wonderful. So definitely give her some support. I didn't realize she was doing the knives too. Which is like super next level awesome. Because that neck knife is perfect. Thank you Big Red for posting up that link again. 
OCD for EDC said, I just finished up the oil changes. Now I'm going inside to do a little anno work. Just a nice GSD Sunday. Get her done. Get she done. What's up, TN? How are you? Nice. You got the oil changes done? That's cool. It must not be super freezing over there, so that's good. We went from like super cold to like rainy and windy. Um, and then it was dry and then really windy last night. And then today we're kind of off and on rain. Just kind of how it goes, I guess. Too kind, Alice, was forging. Yep, yep. Keep out doing your stuff. She does. She's awesome. So smash that like button. I'm going to order some more stuff from her when I get done with the live stream. So if you want to get there before I get there and order up one of these, definitely do that with her because I'm going to order up this exact combo. I may change up how it connects in the back. I don't know if I need this portion of it with the plastic lantern. I may just do all paracord if she can, if she can do that route, but we'll see how it goes. But if she already has it made, then just rock and roll with it. It's 60 and sunny there. Nice. That's good weather then. That's really good weather. All right. Well, that's really cool. All right. Well, let's see here. Uh, I had a couple other things, but I think we'll push those to next week. Like I said, members of the crew, you'll get some notification on knife sale. Um, I got like three things I'm going to sell and I'm still searching for that elusive 940. So if anybody gets a, somebody, oh gosh, I'll have to look at the comments, but you know who you are. You were, you were sending me the info and we talked about it in the live stream last week. Yeah, Alice did great work, Justin. She did awesome work. But that's one of those things. Oh, you can do a complete lanyard without the clip? Okay, I'm in. I'm in. I love the length on this one, so I'm totally in. So, awesome. What's up, Rod? How are you? May the force be with you. All right. Well, let's go ahead and add some things to this giveaway then. Uh, we talked about the other stuff that's going on. Controversy in the community. Well... Overall, the controversy. Should we talk about it? The controversy. What is the controversy? The controversy is there's so many channels to choose from on your live streams. How do you pick just one? Maybe it's time of day. Maybe it's your favorite people. Um, but Scott N keeps us all in check with knife tube schedule.com so go check it out share your love for your favorite knife content creator have fun be in the chat like you are today thank you so much for that without a breakaway clip that could get snagged on something and literally garrote you <laughs> garrote you paracord is very strong yeah that's true no no drama sunday yeah yeah, yeah. there's the link for knife tube schedule right there um, yeah, no, there's no crazy drama. Everybody's having fun in the community. That's what we want to do. Uh, we keep it real. Obviously there's some stuff out there that, you know, you got to look at and judge for yourself. The only thing I'll say is the only controversy I'm seeing in the community is I just wish I had more control on like bidding sites. And I see people like bidding on fake knives on these, um, auction style channels or companies or apps or websites and it just pisses me off because it's like all right aunt right on man get the kids nap time i love it um the thing with me is like it just pisses me off because there's literally people posting knives on there like i saw you know a bench made narrows for 99 dollars, and i saw this other stuff and i'm like be forewarned and some of these people are posting like fakes and other things that are not legitimate and i just want to say like be careful because i don't want you to see like i don't want you to have like a bench made or something like that and you're basically you know like bidding on a knife and it be fake so really do your research even some legitimate looking People that are on there have some fake Benchmades on there. Read the descriptions. Yeah, <laughs> pretty fly for knife guy. Okay, fine. I won't sell one more than or more than one fake at a time. Just be forewarned. And 
I know some of you, so the night video coming up here this month will show me destroying some fake Benchmades that have been sent into my channel. Uh, we've unboxed those over the last few months and um, huge shout out to those of you and I'll have those listed in the video. We'll talk about it. Um, the people that sent those in, just a bummer deal. Some of them, you know, got ordered intentionally just to see what they're like for, you know, a $10 Benchmade, fake Benchmade. Um, yeah, Steve-O says, I've learned my lesson. I gave you all my fakes. And Steve's Steve is one of them. And, you know, it's one of those, like, it, it sucks because if you order a bug out or something and then it ends up being fake, the bad part is, like, the materials aren't going to be as good. Additionally, you have zero repair. And if you do turn it in for repair, your knife is gone. So Benchmade will not send those back out. And, you know, I understand their practice for that, but... Exactly, Palmer. Exactly. He said, nothing gets me more angry than people trying to pass fakes as genuine and take advantage of less knowledgeables. And that's like, yeah, sharp guy. Yeah. You tell me Timo doesn't make authentic bench made products. Shake my head. I bought one, felt guilty and threw it away. It sucked anyway. says Brian. Yeah. I was following and subscribed to way too many pages and I felt I was not giving them all the due diligence for their efforts. So I cut back you, JB, KC, and LTK. I don't know how you guys follow all. Yep. Fakes are easy to spot if you know what you're looking for. Some people sell fakes at unaware too. So not everybody is evil who sells them. They just don't know any better. I tipped off Benchmade on 945. Yeah, exactly. That's the hardest part, right? Um, thank you, Ron. He says, I think a lot of the people in the knife community are good in the heart. Yes. And the, the hard part is that people will take advantage. I try to flag some of them and I'm probably about 75% successful. I have to point some stuff out. Some of them still like won't get removed and it just kind of sucks because you can see on there the problems, you know, it's a counterfeit and they don't do anything about it. So people get hosed by that. So what's up, Manny Z platinum crew member. How are you? Thanks for being here. Um, my buddy got had on a group of three bench mates. They were all fakes. Yeah. What's up, Douglas Dauntless. How are you? Says lightning auto over microtech clone. Yep. Yep. Um, oh, man. So I just say that's what bums me the most. I got scammed on a fake G Shock once. Yeah, Nico, that's the thing. Like, there's so much crazy stuff, and I know like the intention of those auction sites are good. You know, like I could sit there and put some of my knives up there. They're gonna make their profit off of it. I'm gonna make a little bit of money off of it. But for the most part, like, unless you're selling your knife for like 1,200 bucks. I just got to shout that out because that's what that knife sold for that I was looking for. Um, you know, they're going to pay a couple hundred bucks in eBay fees and PayPal fees and such. So, you know, they're taking that chance. Some of those are legit, but you just got to check them out. Be mindful. If you're really looking to invest something, um, try to hit me up on Instagram or email. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, I know a few of you had, and I try to do my best to be like, you know, get some photos. You know, somebody's trying to sell something. Get some photos for me. I'll do my best to help you. I don't like to give away all the details on fakes because there's some little gems that are out there that I don't want people to know about because, you know, if everybody knows, then the people that are counterfeiting are just going to correct those things. So one of the things right now is packaging. It's hard for them to get all the packaging right. So if you see stuff with no box or no bag, um, those kind of things. And I've even seen them where they've like, Use sandpaper to like scuff them up a little bit to make them look like they're used. Um, trying to get it through people. So, oh really? Oh, that's crazy, Anthony. Um, Jimmy says I sent you one I intentionally bought just to grind a Warren Cliff on it, see what it looked like. Yeah, and that one's coming up on there too, Jimmy. I like that. I like that. I did not CK. I did not. He had already sold the other one on eBay. And he did not have any other ones left. So it goes down in the DMs. Yeah. Imagine, Mark says, imagine being a knife guy and buying an expensive knife with bad steel or lock fitter. Is it any different? Yeah, that's hard too. A lot of them smell like chemicals. Yeah, exactly. So, all right. So let's go ahead and put some other stuff into a giveaway. Alice kind of kicked off this information or this stuff she's going to put into the giveaway. So I'm going to put some stuff in there as well. We, of course, have some slick -em all If you don't know, you're missing out. Your knives are missing out as well. 
Check out the Slick em All Sav for EDC gear. It's waterproof. Made in the USA by OCD for EDC. Justin putting Molly to work, making the batches in the kitchen sink. We also got this WorkSharp Benchmade guided honing tool. It's got the ceramic rod on this side. The guides are right here on each side. And then you have the reverse guides here and a leather strop on this side, which is awesome. This is only sold through Benchmade or Benchmade dealers. Pick this one up at the store for you guys. I'm gonna make sure to put that into a giveaway as well. Yeah, that's the hard part. If it's too good to be true, probably is. Bushcraft rebooted, yeah. Chicago 23 is in the house. Rado Outdoors is here. Platinum crew member and master moderator. What is up, Rado? How are you today? We also have fake packaging is easy to spot. Laser on the knives is always off. Copyright logo and too big. Steel lettering too thin. Sometimes patent is wrong, says Salmondo. All good things to look for. So we got some cool swag. We got some stuff here in the swag bag. We're going to take a peek at. We got that Ranger Eye patch from Saturday Night Live, Big Red EDC. You can only win it. So there it is right there. He donated some of these Glow Rhino patch as well. We got the Glow Rhino. Glows in the dark. Little zipper pull, which is awesome. You get some Zach stuff swag. The hashtag DSKFS holographic. You get, of course, the DSKFS patch to do something kind for someone. Some more Zach stuff swag. The bigger Zach stuff swag. You get some OCD for EDC flag swag, which is awesome. You got the big Saturday Knife Live sticker from Big Red EDC. You got the Big Red EDC easy pull tab cardinal sticker. The Oregon Truck and Auto Authority pocket razors. Thank you. The Super Squatch, of course. You get the traditional pocket knives split and slices right here if you haven't checked out his channel. We got O Father EDC. Can't go wrong with that, oh father. We got some Hogue Knives sticker here. We got some Knife Butter. Shout out to Rado Outdoors and Knife Butter. Check out Knife Butter if you haven't. Got a little good pin oilers. We got some Oregon Truck and Auto Authority sticker. Some Glow Rhino. And of course right here, thanks to Malice. Give a shout out to Malice in the chat. He threw in a Till Valhalla Project sticker and patch. This one says, everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. So this is a really cool patch, a really good reminder on the daily to have on your backpack or at your desk or wherever you have some cool sticky hook and loop or just to keep it on there, just to remember that everyone's going through battle. So Till Valhalla Project, they do some great things. Check them out, support if you can, but that's pretty cool stuff right there. So we got some cool stuff in today's giveaway. Again, huge shout out to Alice for that. That is really cool. Mental health is so important. Yes, Dave. Yes. 100%. Now, I will say, Rado has sent us some knife butter. So, I got some more knife butter we're going to use in a giveaway next week. So, just saying, we got to keep your knives nice and greasy. Spider and Benchmade both get faked, but a lot of others too. Yes, Anthony. Yes. Uh, I know a lot of legit Benchmade bone collector folder from eBay, but man, this thing was roached when I when it got to me. Washers toasted, blade dull, etc. Sent it in for Life Sharp, and they dialed it in. Nice, Chris. Yeah, and that's the cool part too. If you can get something like that on the secondary, and you can get it, you know, sent in for Life Sharp, they will get it dialed in, which is nice. So Big Red posting the the giveaway rules. One guess, one guess only. Closest without going over. Ties go to a second round. Of course, one guess only. One account only, please. And my screen, my moderator screen is final. U.S. addresses only because of the knife in the giveaway. And thank you again to Alice. I want that last patch. Yeah, and you can probably go over to um, Till Valhalla Project. And I don't know, uh, Malice might be able to tell us if that patch is still available, if people can order that on their website or not. I know it was recently, but I don't know if it's just a patch drop where they might be sold out. They're sold out kind of a thing, but Rory says, come on, only 137 likes, 154 people in the chat. Smash that like button. Life Sharp is great. Locked myself out of my car at 3 a.m. and I broke the tip uh, on my Benchmade getting into my Honda. It got me removing the sunroof screws. They redid, oh, they reground the tip for it and fixed it. Nice, nice. Oh, they are. Malice says these are available on the Till Valhalla Project website. So if you want one of these patches, 
Uh, if you don't win it today, you can definitely go over there and pick up that patch. So pretty, pretty reasonable pricing from what he told me. And thank you again for donating that. That is very cool of you, Malice. Lots of t-shirts, hoodies, and patches, and it goes for the good cause. Yep, that's awesome. That's so cool. I might have to do that too because I want. I think I want one of those patches too. So I'm going to have to go over there, and I'm going to have to go to Alice's website. I got some stuff to do today, and then ship out this giveaway stuff. Oh, Big Red, thank you so much. He put the link right there, the tillvahalaproject.com, and says the patches are available. Big Red, thank you for doing that. Bushcraft says I'm getting one either way. <laughs> That's why you need to carry a sack and a knife. There you go, Kathleen. She's like, you get them all dialed in. Uh, okay, okay, let's see here. We're going to go. I don't know if I did this range last week or not. I might have to keep track of these things just to see, like, oh, did I do it right? Did I not do it right? All right. All right. She's real fine, my 409. Just kidding. You saw that last night. You know what's up, SKL. All right, so as soon as we see a start on the screen, we will do this. It's $8 per patch. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I think you can do a patch bundle too, like if you order a few of them. All right, so no, Palmer, it's a different range. I'll give you range just a second, but that was last night's one, yep. There's the start. So the range for today is, and I'll put this underneath here, is 500 to 750. 500 to 750 and you can guess one guess one guess only closest without going over ties go to second round 500 to 750 good luck everyone thank you again to alice we got some awesome swag some awesome giveaway stuff in here we're having fun with it marco david garcia varela what is happening dane's here what's up dane platinum crew member how are you? Good to see you. Guesses are rolling in like crazy. I love it. But yeah, so basically the hardest part is trying to figure those out. I wish like there was a bench made verification tool or something. Um, you know, if they all had serial numbers or something. But that's how it goes, I guess. But just be careful. Try to buy from people like myself or others when they do knife sales, but I get it. Or try to buy from somebody who's not going to rip you off if you know them. But definitely Benchmade dealers. There's some used Benchmades that pop up on Arizona Custom Knives as well. A good place to find them. Blade Binge, be careful. They don't verify the stuff, so it kind of comes down to the seller. So just be careful on there as well. I like that. Chris says, check your number, Lemmy. I thought you were the Benchmade verification tools. I, I am, I am. I try to be. I just, it's like hard because I want to get back to people as quick as possible. But sometimes with work and stuff, it's like, it's just crazy. Yeah, exactly, Anthony. My work requires me to wear a black undershirt. So I just buy them from Till the Hollow Project and support the cause. Nice, nice, Mal. It's nice. Does Zach do consignment? I haven't done any consignment stuff. If you, I mean, I don't know. I I just like to pass it on, you know. I don't want to make any money off stuff, but try to hook people up, you know. Nice, let me you got it all fixed. Nice, nice. All right, let me scroll back and see what we got for guesses. See if anybody's super close or not. Let's see here. Well, I don't see anybody that guessed it right on, so that's good, I guess. That's good. All right, let's see here. Did I make it to the end yet? All right, all right. I see. I see. Don't do it. <laughs> Apostle P knife sales are legit and prices are hard to beat. Yes. Salamander, that is another good one. Apostle P has some good knife sales. 
check his YouTube channel out too. Love them knives does consignment. Yep, he has some good sales as well. Tom Weingrass says, Zach, king of all benchmade gatekeepers. <laughs> I try, man. I try so much. That's so crazy. All right, Big Red, let's give it another like 20 seconds or so, then we'll cut off the giveaway guesses. I changed mine because two others guessed the same. <laughs> oh, I gave it away, huh? Because I said nobody guessed it right on. All right, all right, all right. Do, 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 do. Closest without going over. One guess, one guess only. Ties go to a second round. Blade binge doesn't verify knives. Nope, I don't. I've heard the same thing. They don't. What's up, Acid Test Kids? Gold Class crew member, how are you? But thank you all to everyone who smashed that like button. Thank you all to those of you who are channel members and also to those of you who donated channel memberships and super chats today. That is really awesome of you guys. It does help support the channel. So thank you so much. There's the stop signs. We'll go ahead, open this up. We will see what it says on the paper. It says, damn proud day. Beeves give. All right, 500 to 750, 572. 500 to 750, 572. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you, Ron, for doing that. So we'll go back and see who is closest without going over to 572. 572. So I see uh, 557. Anybody closer to 572? A 567 from Crazy Roach. Couple people just over. That's not going to do it. So we're looking at, let's see, Crazy Roach has. 567. So we need something closer than 567 or Crazy Roach is going to take it. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I definitely need to get that music and see if the old, uh, what is that? Judge Wapner music is available. I like that. CK is just over. Bushcraft is just over as well. I did pretty good with this one. I did pretty good. So we got to beat a 567 from Crazy Roach. Do we have any winners out there? Is Crazy Roach taking it? Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Do do do. Do 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 do. Do do do. It's almost looking like Crazy Roach. Crazy Roach may pull it off. Do, do, do. All right, I'm seeing Crazy Roach. Oh, Bushcraft, you're just over with 574. Dang. Oh, Marshall had 569? Okay, hold the phone, hold the phone. Let me go back and find Marshall's. Did I skip over Marshall's? Let's see here. Do, do, do. Oh, 569 for pocket razors. Martial Law 123 pulling it off by two. So, yeah, thank you guys for finding that. I skipped right over that. He played for pocket razors. Man, snuck it in with an added comment. I lost it too. Yeah, I always, for some reason, my eyes skip over it. Martial Law 123. Big Red seen the same thing. You guys are all seeing the same thing. Marshall says, Me? He's like, I did it. I want it. That's good. That's good. Playing for pocket razors. That is awesome. <laughs> Congratulations, pocket razors. Marshall, thank you so much. Marshall, if you need some swag or anything, let me know. We got to meet up anyways and grab some breakfast one of these weekends. So let me know how that goes. Whatever day is best for you. Or maybe on your days off. Whatever works best for you. Whenever you're in the neighborhood, let's meet up. But you guys, give a shout out to Marshall Law 123 He's a master moderator, platinum crew member. He's dialing it up, taking care of us all. Or sorry, gold class crew member, taking care of us all. He always is very generous, has donated to the 
The runner's up with donating his Moras. That is awesome. Yes, 100% DSKFS Manny. Thank you so much for that. You're the hookup master, says Pocket Razors. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So definitely awesome. You get a cool fixed blade. You get all sorts of fun stuff. Some more slick them all. And Pocket Razors has some little, uh, what do you want to call it? Easter eggs coming up in the Easter basket. So I think I'll just leave it at that. But yes, thank you guys so much. Collusion. Ain't no collusion here, man. Big Red, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> When you see Blade HQ in the picture and it's not on their site, it's probably fake. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You'll buy yourself a moron. There you go. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> We're all winners. We're all winners. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Dave. Make sure to check out, check out Dave's article. Um, so many other live streams coming up today. Don't forget OCD for DC Live, 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 Central. Uh, there's no Metal Mondays tomorrow, but Javon... If you know Javon's knife flicks, definitely keep an eye out for him because he said something about maybe a metal Monday light version tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Pacific or 7.15 p.m. Pacific. So check that out. We also got Everyday City Carry. So many things going on. And of course, our friend, good friend, Knives Fast, Casey, he's doing random lives all over the place, all over the time. I'm waiting for like a bathroom live. I think that's on the checklist that needs to be done. But yes. Midnight, what is happening? How are you? Don't forget, make sure to do something kind for someone. DSKFS, have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you for joining me on this wild and crazy spring forward daylight savings time. I don't know how it's daylight savings time, but maybe because we get more daylight. But we all lost an hour, so don't forget to take a nap today. Get to bed early, power, recharge, and have an awesome week. But most importantly, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you to all my moderators for being here. Hashtag DSKFS. You guys rock. And thank you to Alice for this awesome.